the Pratana Gadabadu Zondoko Yagadana Sientresh. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Morning, morning. Good morning, Pastor Light. Good morning, Pastor Light. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, that brother Zibusiso, thank you so much. That's your music. I wish I could let it run all through. It's very inspiring, really. Yeah. Watching the whole nations, you know, being presented to the Lord. That itself is a great intercession. It's a prophetic announcement. All right. Before we get into the you know, dimension of intercession we've been doing here this morning. Um, I want to get this across to us as the Lord laid it in my spirit. In the book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25, the scripture says that the liberal soul shall be made fat and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. The liberal soul shall be made fat. You know, the Bible said, seed time, harvest time shall never end. He said, whatever a man sow, he shall reap. He says also, he that sow, you know, um, sparingly shall reap sparingly, and he that sow bountifully shall reap bountifully. So what we are doing here, this period of fasting and interceding at the altar, what we are doing is seed, seed sowing, seed sowing. But it's so interesting that God has granted us the grace to sow to God's own advantage. You know, people can be sowing for their own advantage. It makes so much difference when you say so for the advantage of God's own interest, for the advantage, for the pleasure, for the advancement of God's divine agenda. And when you are sowing in that dimension, be sure the one to whom you are laboring will remember. So as we are fasting and we're praying, I hear the Lord say, don't forget that the liberal soul shall be made fat and he that water it shall be watered himself he that water it shall be watered himself you know god said to abraham in the book of uh, genesis chapter 17 genesis chapter 17 verse 6 17 verse 6 it says and i will make thee exceedingly fruitful and I will make thy, I will make, I will make nations of thee and bring kings and kings shall come out of thee and kings shall come out of thee. He said, I will make thee exceedingly fruitful and whatever promise God made to Abraham, it was not to end with him. It is for him and for his generations, for him and for his generations and his descendants, which you and I are part of the descendants and the generations of Abraham. Now, when God was speaking to Abraham, he Abraham was one man alone, man alone. But you would be a witness that the whole of the descendants of Abraham today, you know, are partakers of that same blessing. And I see another Abraham rising out of you Another Abraham, another Abraham, a foundation layer, a foundation layer, the, the fountain head of a new generation of people that are blessed with fruitfulness, which we see in the Jewish people, how un incredibly, you know, and unthinkably fruitful they are in the works of their hand and in the works of their brain. So it all roots. It's all you know, emanate from the foundation which their father laid. So God is actually passing a message to you and to me this morning that the liberal soul, he that is busy, you know, giving, giving sacrificially shall be made flat, fat, rather, and he that watereth shall be watered. This translation says the generous will prosper and those who refresh others 
will themselves be refreshed. We are refreshing the nations. The nations will not rise against you. You don't know where your children or your children's children may find themselves in the years to come. Your children and your children's children to the second, third, and fourth generation may find themselves in one of these nations we are praying for. And they will begin to experience you know, breakthroughs and harvest that people won't be able to explain. How is it happening so easy with this guy? Their father laid a foundation. Their mother laid a foundation, a foundation of watering those nations, watering those nations, being generous to those nations. So God will call these nations you are praying for to give birth to blessings back to you, to return back to you, to give back to you that which you are giving to them. He that watereth shall be watered. And a generous person will definitely prosper. God will mastermind it. God will ensure that the generous person, a liberal soul, will certainly prosper. But remember, God said to Abraham, I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. I want you to connect yourself to that scripture exceedingly fruitful, exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee and bring and, and kings shall come out of thee. And uh, Abraham definitely did not come to South Africa, did not come to Nigeria, but you can be sure that that name is magnified in every nation. That name is magnified in every nation. So as we are watering in this, over these nations, I want you to begin to see that the time will come when these nations you are praying for will begin to you know, give back to you the blessing you are giving to him, or to, to, are giving to, to them, each of them, because whatever man sow, he shall reap it back. So I want to congratulate you. This is what the Lord laid in my heart to congratulate everyone who has been standing in the gap and fasting and praying for the well-being, for the healing, for the deliverance, for the transformation of the different nations of the earth. And bear in mind, like I said earlier, your sons and your daughters may find themselves there. And it is the intercession of you, their mom, their grandmom, you, their dad, their grandfather, that will be the basis of their explosive lifting and establishment from the soil of those nations. So with this, let's begin to give thanks to God for the privilege has given to us to stand on the wall and to make petition and to make intercession for the nations of the world. From the depth of your heart, begin to thank him. It's such a privilege to be honest with you. Thank him, thank him. Father, Thank you. Bless you. I worship you. Give him praise. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Rangos of Bonotor, Zuna and the you have given unto me. To stand at this gate, watering the nations, to stand at this gate. What I am a Tashedo, <laughs> The one that was <laughs> at the beginning, and the one that is, the one is coming. <laughs> the the one that is coming. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Second to this, I want you to call upon the name of the Lord and Ask, declare, you shall have what you say. I want you to declare that your descendants, your descendants shall be great in all the nations of the earth. Your descendants shall be great. Your descendants shall be great in all the nations of the earth. Shall we make that prayer? Master, Lord Jehovah, what I declare you will do, and so this morning, being the 25th day of January 2021, Lord, I declare that my descendants are found themselves. The covenant that you have with me, in the name of Jesus, said you will make a You are my sitting greatness. My God, children, my children, from my loins, wherever they are. Lagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
Is uh, is Pastor Pastor Levan in the house? Pastor Levan is she in the house? No, Hello? she's she's not she's not here. All right, quickly let's go to the book of Genesis chapter twelve. In Genesis chapter twelve, <laughs> let's set it up for Eva. I want us to look at verse. Mano setaliendish. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Verse three, from verse three, says, "And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed." I want us to use this scripture to pray for the different nations this morning. Aligning them to the blessing of Israel. God said prophetically to Abraham, he said, I will bless thee and I will make your name great. And then he said, and I will make them, said, and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse them that curse thee. We are praying for the manifestation of God's blessing. Revival is the blessing of God. Revival is the blessing of God. The healing of the nations, which is our heart cry, is part of the blessing of God. And one of the key to entering into the blessing of God is to bless Israel. He said, if you, any nation that will bless you, I will bless him. Any nation that will experience revival will have to be aligned to you and with you. Any nation that will revolt against you, that will turn against you, I will turn against them. So one of the cheap, easy, shortcut roads into the heart of God, into the blessing of God, into the outbreak of God's glory and presence it is to align with Israel. So we are going to pray. You see, when the devil wants to destroy any nation, he will he will he will inspire or he will he will trigger a, a, a kind of revolt, a detachment, you know, a fight, you know, between that nation and Israel. That is how a, a nation sign a curse over themselves. That's how a nation program a curse or unlock a curse upon them. So we are going to pray that God will intervene. He says, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. Who treat you with contempt. Now, how many nations are treating Israel with contempt? He said, all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So God made Israel like a custodian like the dynamo of blessings on earth. So we are going to pray for the nations of Africa, Europe, Australia, Asia, you know, and uh, North and South America, that they will repent, they will repent of, their, of, of, of treating Israel with content. They will repent of their, you know, um, cutting away from the commonwealth of Israel, that God will have mercy, forgive them, and raise leaders of those nations that will understand the significance of Israel in the face of global blessing and get the nation, their nations, back to reunite with Israel. So this is our first major prayer today, that nations of Africa, Europe, Asia, everywhere will arise and rebuild the link between them and Israel and strengthen the ties, you know, between them, the diplomatic tie, the spiritual tie, the economic tie, you know, the covenant link between them and Israel so that they don't fall into the anger of God. Shall we begin to pray? Father, begin with repentance. Let's ask God to forgive all these nations that have revolted against Israel and that God will raise leaders that will come over to rebuild the broken yeah. world. 
please unmute yourself. I am to show right heart attitude, Father, towards the nation of Israel, Father, cause us to repent, Father, Lord, as your chosen people of God, not loving and blessed, you have been be your, your chosen position, Father, your, Father, not so Father, pray that we should support them, Father, not helping them in their mission of God, or to fulfill the mandate of God for their lives, of God. So we repent this morning, Father. We repent on behalf of our South Africa. Lord, my God, Abu Talabataya, Rebe Shiabuko, Rabatana, Rabatana. Israel, Father, that we have turned away, Father, of Jesus, turned away, and we have persecuted the this morning. We ask for mercy, Father, mercy upon us, South Africa, Father, in the name of Jesus. Austria, Austria, to turn back, Father, in our attitude, Father, for hating Israel by God, cause us as a nation, cause us as a government to repent before you. The throne of grace. Help us, Father God, to support those who have chosen, who have chosen the calling of God upon their lives. The Lord helps us in the earth and to support them, Father. Love them, Father. to help them. In the name of Jesus, give us a heart and a heart. In the Give there will be a change, Father, in attitude our government, Father, towards the nation of Israel, Father, for they are your treasured possession, Father. You have called them, Father, of, of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Rabutana, which is the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel, which is the nation of Israel. Make a mistake, Father. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because you have called them, Father, with an everlasting calling, Father, you have supported the kingdom of Israel, Father, no one can deny them, Father, because you have given them to them, Father, and they take us from them, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Father, for that reconciliation, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, says that Israel, that nations of Lord God, Father, will align them. Themselves. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your blessings, Heavenly Father, may receive your blessings in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray. Glory that God will raise be to people to like God. Moses Glory be to God. Thank in you. every of these nations. Moses was known for two, three things. Number one, intimacy with God. Intimacy mm -hmm. with God. Time and again, he will leave the people and go to the mountain to be with God and receive instruction from God. What can be a greater blessing to a nation to have such a leader. Moses was known for boldness, confidence, 
in God, faith in God, and boldness. Whatever God said to Moses, Moses will stand strong to put, bring it forth. And everything Moses said, God confirmed it with signs and wonders. God tormented Pharaoh and the whole of Egypt and made the word of Moses to prevail over the word of Pharaoh. At some point, Pharaoh began to negotiate, okay, I will let you people go, but your children will not go. Another time, okay, I will let you go, but your, your flock, your, your animals, your business will not go with you. But when God again and again dealt with Egypt, they called Moses. Now you go, carry your wife, carry your children, carry your flock, carry everything, and go, go in a hurry. And then Moses began to give them condition. He said, go, you've come to where I have been, but this time, we are not going alone. We are going with every pressure in the land of Egypt and the empty Egypt. I want us to pray that God will raise in all these nations men of authority, men of influence, men with power, men with divine wisdom, men with divine energy to enforce the will of God, to enforce the will of God. You know, there are people, there are leaders who know the will of God, but they lack the courage. They lack the courage to face the bullets that will come on them. Men who are fearless, who are fearless, who do not look at the face of the people, but they look at the people. Let God raise such people, both at the national government of nations and at the provincial or state or local government or, you know, you know, Great such people in the parliament, in the senate, in all levels of leadership. Men that fear none except God. Men that can fear none except the voice of God. Let's begin to pray. We need this kind of people to be in that nation and Israel. Such is needed. Shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Please unmute yourself. And pray, God, give me a Father, how do we pray that raise men wisdom and influence to change the trajectory of their nations? Men and leaders who are fearless and who are moved by the arm of God in the name of Jesus Christ to impact, change in their nations. In the name of Jesus Christ, to lead with a radical obedience to you, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, to lead with firm and radical and shaken obedience and boldness to you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and uncompromising. we pray that heavenly Rebecca, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to ask us to do something a bit differently. I will appoint um, six people to just within a short time give us a prayer point. Each person give us a prayer point for one continent. The prayer point the Lord laid in your heart. I'm going to ask uh, Brother Zebusiso to give us a prayer point for North America. A pray, just one prayer point for North America. And I'm going to ask Pastor Peter, Peter and Ingrid to give us just one prayer point for, for, for Europe as it is in your heart. I'll ask uh, Sister Clareta to give us one prayer point for for, for South America, South America, as the Lord drops it in your heart. I'm going to ask um, uh, yeah, uh, Dr. David to give us one prayer point for the continent of, of Asia, the continent of Asia. And I'm going to ask Sister Nne to give us one prayer point for the continent of Africa. And uh, for the continent of Africa, and then I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Promise Uzoma to give us one prayer point for the continent of Australia, where where he is based. So please, I hope you got it. I I didn't write them down. If you did, uh, Promise Uzoma, you give us one prayer point for the continent of Australia, and we handle that. And who else, um, Sister Ine for Africa? Dr. David, for which country did I give you? Continent? David? Asia. 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 All right. Clarita, which one? South America? Um, yes. Peter, I gave you Europe. And Zebusito, I gave you North America. All right. Just strike the nail at the head and we'll pray. We, didn't, we have about three, three or four, four minutes maximum for each of these matters. Please go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 For Africa. The, the, the prayer point is this. It said, say, oh Lord, my father, any government or personality that want to wipe off Christianity in Africa, father, wipe them off in the name of Jesus. Oh. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and commit yourself and pray for everybody. Every place, every Thank you. 
we even pray, Father, as the word of God moves into Israel, Father, that now is the time, Father, for Israel to repent, Father. Now is the time for Israel to return back to God in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lea Tayara Bushara, Mutarabatana, the doors will be opened, Father, of faith, my God, Labutana, there's a word of God be proclaimed to Israel, Father, like never before, in Jesus' name, that faith will rise, O God, Rabutanabatana, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God, we thank you, O God. Amen. We praise Amen. you, O oh God. We bless you. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you. We bless you, Father. That faith will arise, Father. Faith will arise in Israel, Father, in a loving God, in the Savior of the world, who laid down his life for the whole world to be saved. Aliyah. Your word says, Father, that you love the world so much that you gave your only begotten Son. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but they have everlasting life. Thank you that God has arise in our spirits this morning. Father God, for what you are going to do, Father. Hallelujah. For what you are about to do, Father. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That your end time. Amen. I'll I'll be uh, prophecies, Father. I'll be praying for North America. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the word for North America that we we'll use is our prayer point. Amen. Hallelujah. The word that we shall use is our prayer this morning for North America Save is in us, Psalm 133. Amen. It says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So we are praying for the church uh, in North America. We shall pray for unity. We shall pray that they be one, even as Christ and the Father are one. Because when they see the church as one, when the people see the church as one, uh, then they shall know that it is the church of Jesus Christ. So let us uh, pray for that unity in the church in North America, so that when people see that unity, they will believe that uh, Christ uh, is the Lord and that Christ is the Savior. Let the church be a testimony in the in in North America this uh, this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we just give you the praise. We give you the glory this morning. We give you the honor, O Lord God. Father, we thank you for the spirit of Father, unity, in the name Lord of God, Jesus Father, Christ, bring together the church, the body of Christ, Father, Lord God, in North America. Yes, Father, we are praying for the church in Canada. We are praying for the church in the United States. We are praying for the church in Mexico. Father, we pray that it is good and pleasant. Yes, for brethren to dwell together in unity. Father, we pray that it is good and pleasant. Yes, for brethren to dwell together in unity. Father, we pray for the church 
nation of America or of God. That wherever the church is or of God, that may be united in one, even as you and the Father are one with Jehovah God in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord of God, that when people see, when the sinners see, that the church is one, Lord of God, that they will know that they are your disciples of Father God. Father, let the church be for a testimony of God, of your goodness. Let the church, Father, be a testimony, Lord of God, of who you are. Let the church be for a testimony, Lord God, that you so loved the world, that you gave your only begotten Son of Father God in the name of Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name
Amen. Next person. Next person. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Our scripture reading for eyes for for South America is in Isaiah fifty-five, verse six to seven. Seek, inquire for, and require the Lord while he may be found, claiming him by necessity sure. and by right. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have love, pity, and mercy for him. And our God, and to our God, for he will multiply to him his abundant pardon. As we're in for e South America, let us pray that the Lord will send a revival and the fear of the Lord so that the souls will be saved. And when you look at South America, you realize that many people there are doing human and, tra and drug trafficking and they are all over the world in jails because of human trafficking and drug trafficking. So may the Lord send the fear of the Lord so that the people can be saved and stop trafficking people and drugs so that they can have peace on their land. And we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we exalt your name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Maladu. Christ of Nazareth, we bring the South America before you, Lord God Almighty. We pray, Father, that you, Lord God Almighty, the 
yes, 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 we yes, yes, pray yes, for that it will expose all these things to my God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Spirit of the living God, that it will arise in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we pray for you. Father, we pray for you. My God, we pray for you. We pray for you. Amen. Thank you. Next question, please. The cross and spirit, my Lord and my God. I want to about Genesis chapter one, twenty seven. Can you speak a bit louder, Pastor Peter? We can't hear you. Okay, I try to speak louder. Do you hear me better? You hear me? Good? Yes, it's better now. Yes, yes, it's okay. okay. We are talking about Europe and we are talking about the book of Genesis, chapter 1, 27 and 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Increase the number. In the number, I feel the earth of you. But in the whole of Europe, they allow that unborn children will be killed. Do you hear me properly? We are struggling to I don't hear you properly. Yeah, because I, 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 I realize that you really don't hear me well. My prayer point is that all the governments in Europe, they allow Killing unborn children, gender theology, gay marriages, lesbian marriages, which are against the will of the Lord. So I ask you to pray that God would remove all the governments in Europe and install in, instead his government who believe okay all right um 
very clear. Let's pray against any movement that is empowering people for homosexuality and all related abomination in the light of God. And we begin to pray. Please unmute yourself and decree that. Let God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have blessed men and women, Heavenly Father, in your word. And say that you send them with fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, are coming against the spirit of abortion. We are coming against homosexuality. We come against the spirit of abortion right now in the name of Jesus Children, right now, in the name of Jesus, we become against the spirit that is against even this point right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, you command us in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak life to the unborn in the name of Jesus Christ, we are thanking you in the spirit, we bless you, we glorify you, my God, we pray that there will be no one, we come again, Right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Is is the the Australian person there? Is is from there? No, I'm not seeing him. All right. I want us to pray for Australia. This year, 2021, the usual fire explosion that happens in in a year, it will not be repeated. I want us to ask the Bible says, whatever we find on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we put on earth shall be put in heaven. But there will be no fire explosion. In Australia this year, rather we shall hear of rain. In breaking forth in Australia, not a physical fire that destroyed the position. Father, Powers of now, all the influence of the world. 
Pray for revival, in Australia, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Let us begin to prophesy our faith declaration. Let us declare our faith in this 21 days past. Begin to say no and begin to say yes to the things you will want to see. And say no to the things you don't want to see this year. You don't want to see any of such around you, around your family, around your ministry, your organization, your community, your city, your nation, the entire nations of the earth. And whatever we allow shall be allowed. Whatever we reject shall be rejected. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Father, we declare no to COVID-19 and COVID-21. We Yes, we know we say no right now to COVID-19 in this variance. Yes, in every continent right now, we say no to the spread of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. We say no, we are arrested right now in the name of Jesus. We are saying no to COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. We are saying no to the Islamization agenda in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We are saying no to the name of Jesus. Start with us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. We speak fire, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are revived. We come against every spiritual look of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire, Lord, in the body of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak fire. Fire, fire in Jesus' name, no to spiritual look of In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, we are saying yes to revival of outbreaks, still of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the body of Christ, in the world, Father God, right now, we speak revival, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, people who will say, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are saying yes to the harvest, still of those souls, King of glory, in Jesus, name, in, Jesus Jesus name, in, Jesus in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we are saying yes to divine breakthroughs despite the seasons, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are saying yes to help, yes to help, yes to help in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes, to the return of the prodigal sons and daughters. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Eternal Father, we give you praise. We honor you. We acknowledge that you have been our help on this mountain. You've been our strength on this altar. Thank you for every prayer that has been lifted to you today. Thank you for every prophetic declaration that has been channeled to the nations of the world. Father, we thank you because our eyes shall see the performance of that which we have declared in the name of Jesus. We shall see of it and we shall rejoice in it. Thank you. I dedicate today into your hands that as these men and women go out to their respective oppressions, today, Lord, show them your favor in the name of Jesus. Cause us to behold your goodness. Cause us to behold your mercy. Cause us to behold your loving kindness that is better than life itself. Today, this day, the 25th of January, the 15th day of this fasting, cause us to hear the sound of abundance of joy in the name of Jesus. Cause us to see harvest on every side, breakthrough on every side, blessings even more than we expected, more greater than we expected, and sooner and sooner and sooner than we expected it. Thank you, Father. Be thou exalted for no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. And any tongue that rises in judgment against us, we condemn it from this altar. Jesus. Thank you.
For none of us here is among Jesus. them that come back unto petition. But we are yes. them that stand strong to the saving of souls. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Wow. Congratulations to you all and God bless you as you go forth and shine the light of God that is upon you. Surely, goodness, 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 goodness,